This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar presenting the Color Tools in Apple Final Cut Pro 10.6. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this short tutorial, I'll show how to fix color casts in video using the color wheels in Final Cut. Here we've got some color casts. This are plain again, and it's still green. Here's our blue road and our blue-green railroad. But this time I want to fix them manually. So let's think about what we learned earlier. If something is supposed to be gray or white or black, it must contain equal amounts of red, green, and blue. But how can I isolate this to find out rather than just look at the whole picture? And the answer is this icon right here enables cropping. I'll make this 50% because the crop is really hard to grab when it's right to the edge of the frame. I'm going to isolate by cropping on something that's supposed to be white or gray, like right there, the, the underside of the tail. Now let's hide the browser, control command one, and show scopes, command seven, and look at that. That's supposed to be a single dot in the center of the frame, but it's got that, that grotesque yellow-green shift. We gotta get rid of it. And the way we're gonna get rid of it is rather than try and dial this out of, of the highlights, I'm gonna grab and dial it out using the global setting. I'm just gonna click and drag until it's essentially a single dot in the center. Then we'll reset the crop and look at that. Look at that, this is before and this is after. Now this perhaps may be a little bit too blue. I'll just back it off a hair so it doesn't look quite so in your face and click done. Now, at this point, look at where my black levels are. Black levels are way high, so we'll just pull those down. White levels are okay, but the mids could help by pulling it down a bit. And now, after making those adjustments, remember this side of the band affects grayscale for shadows or grayscale for mids. This side affects saturation, and this changes the color. This is before, and this is after. Yes, I could have done the color balance with the automatic tool, but by using the wheels, I can not only remove the color cast, I can also adjust the exposure to get a richer, more pleasing shot. Let's do the same thing here with the blue road. Hmm. What can I isolate on? Well, let's try isolating. Click here. And let's isolate on, we're going to isolate on the gray pavement. Way over here. Right there. Now that's supposed to be gray, but it's got a blue cast. So we'll get rid of it by just pulling that up a bit. So it's a single dot in the center of the vector scope. And we'll reset it. And now it's kind of dark and dreary looking. So now we'll boost it manually. This time I do have white puffy clouds. And I have mid-tones because it's during the day. So just raise this up. I always adjust the black levels first, and then I adjust the mids, and then I adjust the highlights. And this is before, and this is after. Where did I get my starting point? Remember, color is equal amounts of red, green, and blue, but color and grayscale are not the same thing. I use the waveform monitor to set grayscale. I use the vector scope by isolating on a something that's supposed to be gray or white. Isolate on that to dial out the color cast. Okay, now this is a challenge. This is that blue-green train clip. It doesn't have the same richness. It's kind of withdrawn. It's kind of shy. But I look at this. There's nothing gray here. I really don't like using black. There's way too much opportunity for screwing up. I prefer to use mid-tone gray or uh, light white, but not overexposed. Whatever can I use to get this color to look right? Well, funny you should ask that, because in all the sets that I shoot, I try to have something gray in the shot, a gray coffee mug, a piece of paper that's outside the key light that's still white, that's just there in case I need a reference for color grading. And it so happens that in these two trains, look at that, I've got a gray hopper car. <laughs> Who knew that I could masquerade a hopper car as a color correction tool? It's exactly what I've done. A crop in here, right there, and now let's take a look at it. I should have 
a single dot in the center, but I've got all that great color cast. Again, we'll use the global and clean that up. Or if I go up to here and say reset the parameter, this is a shadow. So maybe I just want to color correct it by taking the shadow and the midtones, because they kind of overlap, and put that right in the center. Now when I reset, look at this. This is before and this is after. Let's back up our clip and look at the bright engines. Look at that. The energy is back for the train. Now I could still make some adjustments to it, pull this down perhaps to get the black levels a little bit nicer and maybe open the mids up just a bit. This clip, by the way, is courtesy of Model Railroad Builders. That's Fran and MilesHale.com. And I am grateful for Miles for shooting this at a train layout in St. Louis. This was an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar presenting the color tools in Apple Final Cut Pro 10.6. For the complete version of this online training, please visit my store at LarryJordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 331. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's almost 2,000 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers a variety of software. We update it monthly. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.